products. And I brought down Inez Tannenbaum, who is the chairman of the Consumer Product Safety Commission, to go into some of the homes that have been affected by Chinese drywall. And these families are really, um, there's about 50 of them at this point, uh, probably more will be found that have lived in homes that, that are just uninhabitable because the Chinese drywall, I tell you, I was in a house for more, more than 20 minutes and already I, I had a headache and my nose was burning. Families have had to move out of the house and the Consumer Product Safety Commission is investigating what happened, but they haven't finished their tests and the folks now, you know, we've got to try to find them some intermediate relief in terms of having them uh, a little bit of forbearance on their mortgage payments so they can get through this period until we can find a way to get them remediation after we've proven the drywall causes this horrible effect. I've heard about this, but until you walk through a home like this and see Joe and Elizabeth and what they put into their home, and what they've had to leave behind, just plain fairness would dictate mm -hmm. that these folks ought to be cut a break. They've, mm -hmm. they've taken, through no fault of their own, lived through hell for the last year and a half in, in these kind of settings, and we've got to find them a way to at least get them some relief until the until the final results are in and there can be a formal remediation process. The Consumer Product Safety Commission, we are leaving no stone unturned. We're trying as hard and as quickly as possible to come out with our report so we know then how we can approach this from a multi-agency standpoint. It was, um, it was really showed the importance of what you can do as a senator to try to bring in a major administration official to really try to help folks who are in dire need. It, it charged me up about making sure that I try to get in touch with the banks who, and try to convince them to give these folks a little bit of a break. They deserve some help and some assistance.